Okay, so my hard drive, external hard drive, down here, this is a really old one, it's an old Seagate, it wouldn't pick up on my PS4, which meant that I couldn't copy over any screenshots or any videos. Now, I've managed to get this to work after like a day of trying. I've tried it with FAT32 and XFAT. Neither worked. Um, and I tried different partition managers, etc. Um, and it didn't work. Now, I think that the requirements for it to be picked up is either FAT32 or XFAT and only one partition. Um, so no other so, so no other partitions. It has to be one full partition. Um, but you will get a tiny bit unallocated just because when you format it, it has it leaves a little bit unallocated. So don't worry about that. If it's like a five hundred gig um, hard drive like mine is, then you'll have around about eleven gig unallocated, which is fine. Now on my on my PC, if I turn this on. Um, I'll show you what it's like. So, it's a 7200 uh, 7, RPM drive, and what I did is I named the volume PS4, hold on, there you go. So I named the volume PS4, you can see it's 500 gig, but a little bit is uh, taken for other reasons. So, I formatted it, like so, with just the normal Windows um, formatter in X30, XFAT format and the allocation size must be pretty high. Now that is because if you want to copy over uh, videos for example it basically has the drive in larger blocks so you can copy over larger files uh, faster uh, because it's not reading loads of different loads of different blocks and writing to loads of different blocks. It's just writing at the same speed to a huge block. Now, the default allocation size, that's what I had it to, and it wouldn't pick up on my PS4. And as soon as I put it to the max, and I did quick format, uh, and I named it PS4, and I just formatted it, then it picked up on my... PS4. However, first off, it said, and I'll just show you by putting this in. Uh, difficult to do one hand. Okay, there we go. So, first off, up in the corner, I should read it. There we go. USB storage device cannot be used. And it only has one partition, so it should be that the storage device can't be used. However, if you go over to Capture Gallery and go on a game, then you go over to Video, for example. Let's choose this one. Options, Copy to USB Storage Device. Select it and go to Copy and hit OK. It actually works. Now it says that it can't be recognized, yet it works. So for me, that's not really a problem anymore. I don't really care if it says that it can't be recognized as long as it really can be recognized. Uh, let's try it with a screenshot here. So, copy, copy. And, okay, there we go. Now, people have also said, don't worry, this will load now. Um, people have also said that it takes forever for them to copy over stuff. Now, I just copied over a, only a 147 uh, meg file. Let's do a, a 788 one. Now people have said that with really large files like this, it takes forever, like 20 hours or whatever. And you'll see that in the um, in the forum post that I'm going to link. But if you have a look here, 30 seconds for a near 800 uh, meg file. 
and those seconds are going pretty fast, so I'd say it's less. Now, uh, it could be that my hard drive is 7200 RPM, which I'm sure contributes to it. However, I do believe that it's the um, allocation size that has helped me get the speed of that. And this will definitely help me when I'm recording Metal Gear Solid Phantom Pain and uploading it to my YouTube channel. So, okay, so one extra thing that I find that you should be aware of is uh, after today, when I was playing Phantom Pain, uh, I recorded some stuff and this is later on in the day, by the way. Um, so I recorded the game and I have my hard drive here. So if I turn it on, you can see it's connected to my PS4. What happens again is that it comes up where it says cannot be used, that's fine, and copy to USB storage device, but it says no storage device connected. Now, <laughs> the fix for this I found is for the connection, it's very kind of, it's very kind of flimsy, so uh, it's difficult to see here, but right now it's connected. If it's down, and I try it, it works. So it just works. And all I've done is I've just moved the wire down. If I move it up, it still might work, but it might not. It might say that it's not connected again. So if yours is not working and it's saying that no storage device is connected, just try moving this up and down uh, because it is quite flimsy and I'm what I'm thinking is that the metal connectors inside are not touching all of the other metal connectors inside to transmit data etc so if you get that error message where it says that it can't be connected simply move your cable around and fiddle with it um, and it might just work <laughs> so yeah I hope that has helped you uh, definitely helped me after one day of working at it. Uh, so, yeah, see you in next videos and whatnot. Goodbye.